Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to take a look at the second property that the matrices need to have when we're doing Markov chains, which is it needs to be a regular matrix. So first of all, it needs to be a stochastic matrix, and it also needs to be a regular ma matrix. So stochastic means that if we add the columns up vertically, they add up to one. And so you can see in this example, that is indeed a stochastic matrix. But is it also a regular matrix? Well, a regular matrix is defined in such a way that if we take the matrix to the n power with n being greater than 1, so 2 is sufficient, then it has only non-zero positive entries. So the elements inside the matrix need to be above 0, greater than 0, they need to be positive, they cannot be negative, they cannot be zeros. Okay, so here's an example where if we add the columns vertically, you can see they add up to 1. And if we take the matrix to the second power, we multiply it by itself, we get a matrix where all the elements are greater than zero, they're positive, they're non-zero, so therefore it's also a regular matrix. So therefore, it's a regular matrix. So it is stochastic and it is regular. Now the second matrix here, again, it is stochastic because when I add the vertical columns together, one plus zero is one, 0.5 plus 0.5 is one, so it's stochastic, but is it a regular matrix. Well, if I multiply it by itself, so I get p to the second power, notice I end up with a zero element in there. Since that is not a lot for regular matrix, this is therefore not a regular matrix and cannot be properly used in a what we call a Markov chain exercise. So therefore, we always want to make sure that it's stochastic, all the columns add up to zero, and that it's regular, meaning that there's n not any zero terms or any negative terms in the matrix. And then we can utilize it for the Markov chains. And that's how we work with Markov chains.